Hello, welcome back to my channel, KO Math. There's a post on Facebook that went viral asking for the answer for a problem that is very similar to this one. What is the value of 5 minus 1 times 0 plus 4 divided by 4? Probably you'll be surprised if I tell you that 74% of those who answered the viral problem gave wrong answers. If you know the correct order of operations, then this is a very basic problem for you. And what is the answer? It is equal to 6. So here, we perform first the multiplication followed by division, and then we perform the subtraction and addition from left to right. So we'll get 0 here, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 5 minus 0 is 5, and then 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. In one of my videos, please see the link in the description, I discussed the correct order of operations known as PEMDAS. Here, we review this concept and I will convince you why this order of operations PEMDAS really makes sense. Here is the correct order of operations known as PEMDAS. It tells us that we have to perform first operations within a grouping symbol. If there is more than one grouping symbol, we have to uh, start from the innermost grouping symbol. And how do we perform the operations? First, we do the exponents followed by multiplication and division. Keep in mind, from left to right, and then followed by addition and subtraction, also from left to right. The commonly used grouping symbols are parentheses, square brackets, and curly braces or braces. Now, uh, you might wonder why addition and subtraction are of the same level. So again, uh, I mentioned this in uh, my other video. They are on the same level because subtraction is like uh, addition. So you may write 5 minus a 3 as a 5 plus negative 3. So similar explanation with multiplication and division. We can actually write division as multiplication. So 8 divided by 2 is just equal to 8 times 1 half. It seems that the only operations that we have here are additions because uh, subtraction can be written as addition and then multiplications because division can be written as a multiplication and exponents. So PEMDAS tells us that if we want to perform a set of operations before other operations, we have to use grouping symbols. And then we have to perform exponents which is actually repeated multiplication and then followed by multiplication. So this is multiplication, which is actually repeated additions. And we always end with the most basic arithmetic operation, which is addition. It seems that all the operations in any given expression can be written in terms of additions. So the question now is, why do we have to perform exponents first? followed by multiplication and division from left to right, and then followed by addition and subtraction from left to right. Now, let me give you examples that will convince you that this order of operations PEMDAS really makes sense. Let's look at the first one. So we have here 2 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Okay, so we know that multiplication is repeated addition. So it is clear from this addition, this sum, that the sum of this is equal to 20 plus 2, so that is equal to 22. But we may write this repeated addition as 4 times 5, because there are 4 copies of 5 here that we're adding up. 
Okay, so if we write it as 2 plus 4 times 5, if we're going to apply PEMDAS, so we have to perform the multiplication first. So we'll get here 4 times 5, which is equal to 20, and then followed by the addition, 2 plus 20, so that is equal to, to 22, which is actually correct. But if we don't follow PEMDAS and we perform first the addition before multiplication, what do we get? 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, 6 times 5 is equal to 30, which is not equal to 22. So therefore, this is an incorrect solution. Now, let's have another example. Okay. Suppose we have uh, 5 times uh, 4 copies of 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this is actually equal to 5 times 2 is 10, and then 3 copies of 2 multiply them you'll get 8 so 10 times 8 so that is equal to 80 okay now again we can write this expression in a shorter form okay as uh, 2 raised to 4 2 raised to 4 means we have to multiply 4 copies of 2 so this expression can be written as 5 times 2 raised to 4 but now we have two operations here we have multiplication and uh, exponents so if we follow PEMDAS okay we have to perform the exponent first so that is 2 raised to 4 multiply 4 copies of 2 so that is equal to 16 and then multiply it to 5 you'll get 80 of course that is the correct answer okay but now what if we don't follow PEMDAS again okay uh, in this problem so we have here so what if we apply multiplication first before the exponent so we'll get 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 10 raised to 4, you'll get, you, you have to multiply 4 copies of 10. 10 times 10 is 100. So again, times 100, you'll get 1,000, which is, of course, very far from the correct answer, which is equal to 80. So if we don't follow PEMDAS, we'll get a wrong answer. So this is an incorrect solution. Let me give you another example. Let's say we have this one, 2 plus, okay, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, and then we add up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, threes. okay? So it's clear that the sum of uh, these uh, terms here is uh, 22, and then since we have uh, 6 threes here, so the sum is equal to 18. So therefore, the uh, total of uh, these numbers is equal to 40. Okay. Now, we know that multiplication is repeated addition. So we can write this repeated addition as 4 times 5. And then this repeated addition again can be written as multiplication 3 times a 3. You have a 3 threes. Okay. Here you have again a 3 threes. You can write this as a 3 times a 3. But we can write this again in shorter form, okay? Write it as a 3 squared. Also this one as a 3 squared, okay? So we have here, we're adding 2 copies of a 3 squared. So we can write that down as 2 times a 3 squared. Therefore, we can write this sum in this way, using multiplication and exponents. So we have 2 plus 4 times 5 plus 2 times 3 squared. Now, how do we get the right answer, which is equal to 40? We apply PEMDAS, but we don't have grouping symbols here. So, but we have exponents, we have multiplication, and then we have addition. So first, we apply exponents. So that is a 3 squared, which is equal to 9, followed by multiplication. Okay, so 4 times 5 is 20. 2 times 9 is equal to 18, and then followed by addition. So we have 2 plus 20, which is 22, plus 18, which is equal to 40. Let's have one more example. Let's say we have uh, 36 divided by 9. We know it's equal to 4, but we can also write 9 as a 3 squared. It is a 3 times a 3. Now, if you don't follow PEMDAS here, and you apply division first before exponent, you'll get 36 divided by 3 is 12. Quantity squared, 12 squared, 
So that is actually equal to 144, which is again very far from the right answer, which is equal to 4. Therefore, this solution is not acceptable. Okay. So now, why do we use PEMDAS? The answer is because it's logical to do so. Let us now use PEMDAS to evaluate some expressions. You may pause this video if you want to try this problem first. So we want here to evaluate uh, 2 minus 3 times 4 squared plus 5 and 16 divided by 2 squared times 5 divided by 2. If we apply PEMDAS, we'll get negative 41 for the first expression and 10 for the second expression. So for the first one, so we need to apply exponent first, 4 squared is 16, and then followed by multiplication, 3 times 16 is equal to 48, and then now we're left with subtraction and addition, we perform the operations from left to right. So 2 minus 48, negative 46, plus 5, it's negative 41. For the second one, again, you apply exponent first, 2 squared is 4, and then you have here division, multiplication, division. We just have to perform the operations from left to right. So we have here 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Next problem. So again, pause this video if you want to try this problem first. So we want to evaluate 5 minus 3 times 4 plus 6 divided by 2 times 3 squared. So if when we apply the correct order of operations, PEMDAS, we'll get the following answer, which is 20. So first, we apply exponent, 3 squared is 9, and then we're left here with subtraction, multiplication, addition, division, multiplication. So we need to perform the multiplication and division first. Okay, so you have a 3 times 4, so that is equal to 12 and then followed by this division, okay? So six divided by two is a three, and then multiplication, so three times nine is equal to 27. And now we're left with subtraction and addition. So we need to perform the operations from left to right. So five minus 12 is negative seven plus 27. So that is equal to 20. Last problem, let's try one with grouping symbols. So here we have uh, parentheses and then square brackets. Again, if there is one, more than one grouping symbol, we need to perform first the operations within the innermost uh, grouping symbol. So here we have this uh, inner grouping symbol, the parentheses. So when we apply PEMDAS, we'll get the following answer which is equal to negative 130. So P for parentheses, so inner grouping symbol, we perform the addition, so that is A. So 4 plus 6 is equal to 10, and then we no we're now left with a one grouping symbol. We have the operations division, multiplication, and exponent. So we have to perform exponent first. So 3 squared is equal to 9. And then multiplication and division must be performed from left to right. They are on the same level. So here 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5 times 9 is equal to 45. And this one, this is the same thing as uh, 3 times uh, 45. So we, we still have multiplication here and uh, subtraction. So we need to apply the multiplication first. So that is M. 3 times 4, 45 is equal to 135. And then 5 minus 135 is equal to negative 130. Okay, this is the end of this video. I hope that you have completely understood the order of operations PEMDAS and the reason why this order makes sense. If you have questions about this lesson, feel free to leave your comments below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorial videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is Dennis of KO Math signing off. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.